We're in Newcastle. I'm joined by the Leather Twins, Callum and Josh. Callum's on the left. Yeah. <laughs> I've got that right, haven't I? So Josh on the left. What? Oh yeah, we yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Le yeah. Leave the geography to me. Um, yeah. Both out in action in Newcastle this week. Um, start with you, Callum. It'll be yeah. your your third professional fight. Yeah. It looks forward so to looking it, yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. I had a good uh, good ten week camp. Obviously, it was a. Uh, Supposed to be on the 28th, wasn't it? So just had an extra two weeks training. Went over in Spain, I know a week over there training. And uh, had some good sparring, yeah. Ready ready for Saturday night. Can't wait. It's all right. And Josh, uh, a great fight for you uh, against Glenfoot. Great derby fight, yeah. Ready, uh, had a good hard camp. And um, can't wait to fight night now. Ready to go. So you two obviously on the same bill again, but you must be getting used to this now, Callum. That's it, it does us, that does us both good, doesn't it? Both in the same camp and pushing each other as, as hard as we can, 100%. So, it's the best time when, when we can camp together, it's just train hard, train hard together. And um, so a lot of tickets for this fight as well. So, it's good to have us both in the same card, and good especially stuff. just in Newcastle. All the fans are, oh, we've got 250, 300 fans, so it should be good, yeah. Look forward to it. Every time we spoke before, we've always spoken about you know, the, the opportunity for big time boxing to come back to Newcastle. And it always seems like there's always a gap between the, you know, yeah. the, the last one we was at and, and the one this week. But hopefully there can be some sort of consistency with that, which will help you guys. Yeah, definitely up, the, up in the North East. It's a ma massive show for the North East. This, and uh, hopefully there'll be more in the future to come. That's what we want. Hopefully we'll be headlining show in the North East after, after a few more round here. So steady, be good. steady travelling all over the place and it's good. It's on we our don't mind travelling, no. we'll, we'll travel, but um, good travel on and one in our face as well as Saturday. Yeah. Get the fans in. Josh, how do you assess your own weight division at the moment? It is thriving. There's a, a lot of, like, say, changes. Obviously, we saw the British title. Uh, change hand recently with Jack Cattrall becoming British champion, but there's so many good names, isn't there? Josh Taylor and O'Hara Davies and all these kind of guys yourself, so it's buzzing. You've got a lot of uh, competition up there, and um, it's, this is the way the division to be. If you want to be the best, you've got to fight, you've got to fight the best in the division. So um, hopefully, I'll get this fight out of the way on Saturday and uh, start looking to get maybe in the top 10 with the IBF. So that's what I think Frank's looking at, so hopefully, you get that, get that ranked up. Yeah, obviously you're rating in the, the IBF. If you keep winning, we'll keep improving. But is the British title something that you would like to secure for yourself or a shot at? Yeah, I would, I would like, like the shot at it, but it um, just depends what Frank wants me to do and uh, which way he wants me to go. So I think now I've got the IBF and we're ranked 14th in the world, I think so that would be uh, good to get in like rank top 10 and maybe a few more fights time get get further and up, up the ladder. And Callum, this is only your third fight, but I'm assuming you just want to get as many fights Cut, not out of the way, but you know, um, in a kind of consecutive run. Climbing the ladder in it and getting out as much as I can at the moment. It's doing me, uh, like I say, I've been in camp with Josh every, every fight I've had, so it's been pushing each other to the limit, so 100%. And can't wait for Saturday night. Sorry. The last time I interviewed you, your trainer wasn't here. He's not here, no. He's not here today again, so it's two on the trot. Ex explanation? Work, I think. It'll be, it'll be here tomorrow, though. be the press conference and uh, everything like that, so... He couldn't public work out later on, so... Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, oh, if he's at the public workout, that's good fine, good. yeah. He's grooming you something at, yeah. at work, isn't it? That's what I do it for him. Now, have you uh, boys watched any films lately? On Sky or anything? Yeah, ever? I was uh, watching, uh, watching Sky movies the other day, and you popped up Coogan, and I thought, bloody hell, what the hell are yeah, they doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. first, but I didn't, we didn't know you were in film. So. You haven't got the pin for the safe, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did, I wish I did. Yeah, but that's what we do on the sideline. We're like absolute film superstars, me and James. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you did, did really well. well I see a bit. <laughs> We've been in some really bad films, which I'm not going to promote, obviously. No, that, one. But that was quite a good one, yeah. yeah. Are you in any more then? Or? Yeah, off camera, I'll give you like a few names of yeah. films you could. One was on London Live the other day. I don't think you get London Live up here, but um, yeah, there's quite a few films. Yeah. yeah. Are you going into more films then? Or are you going to keep to this? I don't know. Why is it something that you two will be interested in a film career as alongside your boxing career? Oh, mine's a cool. You're doing all right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, listen, I'm sure, listen, there's always the need and want yeah. for like tw twins, you know, yeah. half good looking twins. So that's, you fit the bill for that. Yeah, running yeah. veggie. It'd be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> nah, 
We're going to have to make another quiz. Yeah. Yeah. Be all right. What, the Newcastle equivalent to the craze? Yeah. You'll be able to sort us out. Probably will. Listen, if film parts is what you want, just, you know, you stick to the boxing. We'll, maybe we can work something out with that. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep to the boxing, I think. Don't think I'll fear so fitting out with it. Nah. <laughs> Get started out. All right, well, listen, best of luck this week. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge night in Newcastle this week, obviously headlined by the rematch between uh, Liam Smith and Liam Williams. Just a quick pick for that, boys. I'm going for Williams because it, it were, we watched him in his last fight, Williams, and I had him on winning, winning fighting to look up, but it was a great fight and uh, it was going to be another great fight at the weekend. But Williams was winning it until like got caught, yeah. last, probably the last couple of rounds. He just died down mm-hmm. a bit, but say Williams. I'm saying Williams, yeah. All right, not long to find out, just a few days. That's it. And All right. in Sunday morning, both wake up with winning again. That's what we're looking for. Best of luck, boys. We'll catch up with you soon, all right? Cheers.